A Cape Cod lobster diver is recovering from injuries after he says he got caught in the mouth of a humpback whale. trying to get me out. Still in scrubs from his trip to the hospital, Michael Packard has <laughs> pains in his legs and a story of biblic proportions. Packard was diving off his lobster boat, was near the bottom when he says all of a sudden he felt as if he'd been hit by a truck. And everything went black and all I could feel was just muscle and skin all around me. Packard says he was in total darkness and he could feel the whale's movement in the water, but at first he didn't realize what was happening. It was like it, did I just get bit by a shark or no, it's not a shark. I'm in a whale's mouth. You figured that out while you're inside the whale. Yes. He struggled, thought about his wife and two sons and thought he might die. Then after about 20 or 30 seconds, he says the whale spit him out. And then all of a sudden I saw light and white water everywhere. And all of a sudden I was thrown from his mouth, he he was shaking his head, trying to eject me out of his mouth. Packard's shipmate saw him come flying out of the water. The captain of a charter boat that was nearby says he did too. Wasn't sure what it was. Then when I saw the the white flipper fin on the side, I go, that's a whale. It's and then all of a sudden I see Mike feet first coming out of the water like this. I, I think I was in shock a bit. I I had to actually pull over and call him back and 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 say, what What did you tell me? Peckard says the whale was a humpback about 35 to 40 feet long that might have mistaken his scuba bubbles for a school of fish. He says the last thing he saw was the whale's tail swimming away. As soon as I landed in the water and was floating there in excruciating pain. Oh. Please like and subscribe.